let's talk about Michael Elgin. I cut another video that I've now put as private a few weeks back, shocked and dismayed and bewildered as to what on God's earth was going on with Michael Elgin. How he could have just vanished in Japan and no one knew where he was, no one was talking about it, no one was tweeting about it, no one was writing about it, there was no press conference, there was nothing, the man had just, poof, vanished. And that bewildered me. Now, I spoke to friends and family members of his, I spoke to co-wrestlers, fellow wrestlers, I talked to NOAA roster members, I talked to New Japan Pro Wrestling roster members, I talked to many people in my pursuit of information about Michael Elgin because not just as a fan of his, but as someone I've considered to have become his friend on some level through social media, I was concerned. I was really concerned. I mean, let's just lay it on the line. Now that he's know that now that we know that he's not, I was worried that the man might be laying dead somewhere and nobody gave a shit. Turns out that's not the case. Now along the way, here's a part of the story you guys can choose to believe or not. In my pursuit of what was going on with Michael Elgin, I heard rumor and innuendo from numerous people, from people I consider good sources that I'm not going to name because they asked me not to. Okay? My first sign that Michael Elgin was probably okay, in regard to physically okay, was someone in the in a one of the wrestling organizations telling me that they couldn't talk about it and asking me to understand that. That answer was refreshing because it seemed to say this person knew what was up but could not talk about it. So that gave me some relief that I shared with friends and family of Michael Elgin's who were confused as well as to what was going on. I talked to a wrestler who told me they went to his apartment and all his belongings were there, but he was not. I found that strange. I talked to many wrestlers who either couldn't say again, further down the line as this went along, they couldn't tell me what was going on, or they only heard certain things that they didn't know were true or not, so they didn't want to say, until finally a source told me that he was arrested. Michael Elgin was arrested for stealing a bicycle. That was the first rumor and innuendo that I heard. I found that odd, strange. Why would the man steal a bicycle? I'm certain I found myself theorizing, well, maybe he borrowed a bicycle in Japan and didn't return it in a timely manner and the owner of the bicycle called the police. That might happen. Maybe there was a misinterpretation in languages, Japanese, English, and they told him he couldn't and he thought in some way they said that he could. Again, this is just me theorizing, but ultimately I'm sitting there, standing there, wondering, why would Michael Elgin steal a bicycle? Well, when the news finally came out, the official news, and I don't know how this is official news, reported by numerous websites at this point, but I cannot remember that, and it's not because I don't want to give them credit. I honestly don't remember the very first site that came out with this. So yeah, I don't remember the wrestling website that first came out with the news that Michael Elgin had been arrested for stealing protein powder. Or I would give you credit for this story. But if you notice, they posted this story in, comp in confidence, in full support of it, they cited an unnamed source, which I understand, because I cannot give you my sources, because I've been asked by these sources not to, and I'm going to respect that. Now, I could just forget that and tell you, but then I wouldn't have any sources anymore. No one would talk to me. So, I don't know what to believe. I've spoken to Michael Elgin. He has put this out there, so I will put it out there as well. He claims to not have done this. And I want to believe him. Now, he's going to watch this and think, we want to. <laughs> Look, it's hard to explain. I want to believe Michael Elgin because I'm a fan. And on some level, we are friends. We are friendly in banter and discussion and back and forth through DMs, private messages, what have you. He's recently given me his phone number so we could keep in contact through text messages. So I want to believe him. And the reason I'm saying want to be is because... 
He told me what happened. All right? And I'm not saying I don't believe what he told me. I just wish there was an official way to prove this. Not because I believe Michael Elgin is a liar, but because it would put to bed any issue or problem with this if there was a way to prove it. And I mean prove it on either end. Now, Michael Elgin's story can't be proven because it involves a lot of private matters in people's lives. Not just his own, but in other people's lives. And that's as far as I'm going to go in saying what he told me because I promised him I wouldn't tell him the story. We'll find out if the day comes when he's ready to release this story. If he never is, then I guess most of you will never know. That's his decision. On the other end, if there's any way that he did do this, and I find it unfathomable that he would steal protein powder. Why? He's in that desperate need of it? He's, I, I, it's goofy to me. Now, I don't want my sources to think I'm calling them liars, but I'm nearly certain that none of my sources know this as a fact. It's been told by people, but how do we know where this came from? See, in America, if you break the law and get arrested, it's public record. You can just find out through the newspaper, through public arrest reports. Every freaking week, the township I live in right here, and I'm outside a screen house in my backyard. Here in my township, every week on Facebook, they read lists, they post a crime report. They don't do that in Japan, apparently. It's impossible to get or next to impossible to get criminal records. Because look, this is this is the thing that, that blows my mind. These guys who hate Michael Elgin, and, and whether they have reason to hate him or not, or it's all based on rumor and innuendo, I don't know. I don't know. But if there was a way for somebody in Japan that hates him so much to obtain a, an official police record, maybe it's just impossible for that to happen. I don't know. But if there was a way, they could put this to bed and say, see, here it is, officially, charged. But no such thing has happened. When Matt Seidel was arrested for having some type of marijuana, that took weeks to settle. And weeks for him to be deported from Japan and told never to return. And it was confirmed that this happened. None of this is true with Michael Elgin. There's been no official statement from Japanese law enforcement, from pro wrestling NOAA, from a Japanese newspaper or television news or anything. Nothing. Just some unnamed source said that's what happened to somebody who worked for a professional wrestling website. That's what happened. That's what we're basing this on. And I have a problem with that. Because I could tell you all kinds of things unnamed sources said to me. I'm sitting on a story about a wrestler's personal life that blew my mind when I discovered it. And it's not the end of the world. I'm not saying it would ruin this wrestler, but it would shock a lot of people. And a lot of people would get big time laughs out of it. And I'm not sharing it because I don't see the point to try to bolster my reputation as a journalist by proving that I have some piece of information nobody else has. And trust me, <laughs> of course you don't have to, but I'm telling you, I have this. And if I wanted to, to rock the boat and make waves and get my name out there and get WrestlingDoneRight.com out there, I could release the story and shame this wrestler and cause this wrestler to be the butt of a lot of jokes for a long time. But I'm not going to do it. But I could. and that Because that's what wrestling journalism is a lot of the time. Unnamed sources. Dave Meltzer started that shit. You can't say who these sources are because they will get in trouble with the company, right? Right? I understand it. But to base fact on an unnamed source through a wrestling journalist, and even though I consider myself one, I know that <laughs> it, that's really nothing. So what? So what? So you've managed to talk to professional wrestlers, mostly independent, maybe some of them actually signed to a Japanese company, 
but you, you've talked to them through Twitter DMs or Facebook Messenger, and they've told you things, and these are your sources, but you can't say because, you know, they won't tell you anything else. I'm not knocking that. I know that's what wrestling journalism is. I know that. But I, at the same time, I am knocking it because it's not very reliable. It's not very reliable. And again, I'm not knocking the sources who have spoke to me. I'm not. I like them and want to believe them. I like Michael Elgin and want to believe him. So what I'm saying is, since there's no official way to prove anything, you can't prove what Michael Elgin is saying is true. You can't prove what these unnamed sources are saying are true. And I'm calling neither liars, my sources, your sources, I'm not calling any of them liars, but if we're going to tell the truth, we cannot say anything has been confirmed other than Michael Elgin has left Japan and claims to eventually be going back. There is the only answer we will ever get. The only answer we will ever get is if and when Michael Elgin returns to pro wrestling Noah, even if it's a year or longer from now. And I'm not predicting that's how long it will be. I have no idea. But if he eventually returns, even if it's in a long period of time, well, the arrest and deportation story is out the window. If he never does, still doesn't confirm he was arrested, but it would lean that way. If a man who loves pro wrestling know as much as he does, who appreciated being there as much as he did, and those of you who think he stole something, oh, he didn't appreciate I don't want to get into that. I know for an absolute fact that he loved and appreciated being in pro wrestling know. That's why I struggle to believe this theft story. Unless he's a kleptomaniac and can't help himself, I struggle to believe that. I don't want to believe it. It doesn't make sense. And there's no good source. There's no name. Unless a named source wants to step forward and say, I'm confirming that I know this for a fact. Put your reputation on the line, brother. And I'm not necessarily talking to my source. You know who you are. I'm not necessarily talking to you, although if you wanted to, superb. But I know that my source is only getting his information from other people. Other wrestlers. And I'm not calling them liars, but somebody... In the wrestling world, in the wrestling community, who claims they know that it's a fact that Michael Elgin stole protein powder, was arrested for it, and kicked out of the country, come forward with your face and your name and say that. The fact that you can't makes me doubt it. If your company, whether it's New Japan, Pro Wrestling Noah, Zero One, if it's a Japanese company and you're afraid they won't like you doing that, why? You're not allowed to tell the truth? This company doesn't support truth telling? Or does this company know that it's something that could be rectified so they don't want it out there? Do they know Michael Elgin's story is true and they don't want that out there? That's what I'm thinking right now. That's the way I'm leaning. My source that told me this theft story, because I have one too, who has told me that he's had this confirmed from numerous wrestlers that they know it is true. I believe he means well and believes this. I do. And I'm telling you, I believe it very well could absolutely be true. But I, I doubt it. I doubt it. Not because anyone is a liar, but because where is the original source? Where? How far back can we go to a human being that would step up and say, I know this is true and here's how I know it. I was there. Noah confirmed it. Um, I have a police report. I have documents. I have what have you. Where are they at? I like Mike Elvin. I like the few sources who have reported to me that he's committed this crime. I like them both. I'm calling neither a liar. What I am saying is that I have heard nor seen any solid evidence to either side. Michael Elgin's word, who I like and want to believe with all my heart, and my source, who I like and want to believe. And I believe both men are telling me their truth. I believe that. And until there is absolute, non-deniable proof of one story or the other, nobody has any business really embracing either. 
supporting either, claiming either to be the absolute truth, because you don't know. Nobody reporting on this, nobody laughing about it, nobody making jokes about it, nobody calling Michael Elgin names, nobody taking Michael Elgin's side, nobody knows the truth, because it has not been proven on either side. And again, that's not calling either of my sources, Michael Elgin or my other source, a liar. All I'm saying in this video, finally to end it, is shut up. Unless you, wrestler A, B, C, that are mocking this, laughing at this, making fun of this, or unless you, fan A, B, C, or D, mocking this, making fun of this, have absolute, non-deniable proof of what happened, you have no right to be running your dick liquor about it. No right. And that's the bottom line. I hope Mike Elgin is innocent. I hope he returns to pro wrestling, Noah. I love the run that he was on. Those of you who hate him based on rumor and innuendo, you're not the kind of people I want to associate with anyway. So Big Mike, I'm sorry. I am. I hope everything you've said comes out to be the truth. And again, comes out meaning there is absolute proof eventually. Absolute proof that no one can call you a liar. But everyone needs, and this will be my last word on it, my absolute last word on it, until there is absolute documentable proof of what happened to Michael Elgin in Japan to cause him to be home right now and off the Noah tour for now. Until there is proof of what happened, everybody needs to shut the hell up and let it go and wait.